Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope today that I can give everybody some clarity and insight into your situation. Okay, so remember to only take what resonates with you and leave the remaining for another Scorpio that needs to hear that message, okay? So let's jump in and find out what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit of the divine and of the loving white light. Holy Spirit, please protect and guide me as I go through the tarot. Please give me the most precise clear and accurate messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and my cross watchers. Messages for Scorpio. Happy holidays, Scorpio. And one more shuffle. Messages for Scorpio, please. What is spirit? Okay. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay, full moon in Pisces. For some of you, you could have a Pisces moon. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who has a Pisces moon. We're dealing with the Pisces, okay? Okay, I feel like you're needing to balance. There's something here. Give me a clarifier spirit before I speak out and say anything. Your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. Prosperity lies ahead, bottom of the deck. You'll be dealing with a Taurus, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Hmm. So, we look at the big of the picture. Look at the big of the... I can't talk. <laughs> look at the bigger picture at the bottom. You could have a Sagittarius you're dealing with. For a lot of you, I feel like this might have to do with your finances and your career. Okay? Take time to breathe out. I feel like you're struggling right now. Okay? I feel like maybe for some of you, you became very spiritual recently. Or maybe you're just really focused on your spirituality, but I feel like you could be doing it in over areas in certain areas. It's like maybe you're spending a lot of time trying to work on your spirituality, but you're not maybe being very practical about maybe your finances with prosperity lies ahead here. Okay. Um, it's like there could have been something that happened in your life, Scorpio, where it's like something in your life wasn't balanced, right? You weren't able to maybe work on just day to day, you know, the mundane tasks that we do every day, just like going to work, you know, like having a routine. Maybe you're, it's like you, you're feeling like you could be struggling financially or just struggling, struggling with your emotions with cancer and Pisces energy being out here. You could just be really deep in your emotions. But with this Taurus energy, I feel like maybe for some of you, you could be like struggling with your finances. Maybe to, because you can't help, maybe because you can't take care of family or you're struggling possibly providing for your family, okay? You could be trying to maybe be, I feel like you're being, I can't get this words out. This is weird. It's a weird energy. So it's like you feel like you're feeling overwhelmed, okay? That's, this is the word I'm looking for, I guess. Um, it's like, yeah, look, again, bottom of the deck, take time to breathe out. It's like you're feeling overwhelmed by something. I feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders is what it feels like. You're trying to be very practical about a situation and also maybe trying to work on yourself with spirituality being here and it's like you're needing to find an equal balance. It's been difficult. I feel like you could be going through like an emotional uphill or an upheaval in your life or something that causes you to have a lot of emotions because maybe it has to do with taking care of your family or something to do with maybe your family's changing or it's split up or something's happened here where you're trying to main, remain practical with what you need to get done but also having a difficult time because your emotions are running so high is what I'm hearing. I'm surprised I didn't see that card come out. Um, and it's like, you're just finding it really difficult because you're like, I'm trying to be more positive. I'm trying to focus on this, but you keep getting pulled to the practical side. And I feel like it, the, those emotions overwhelm you. So it's like you need them to find a, a good balance here. I feel like this is something to do with your prosperity, your abundance, um, you know, laying down roots, maybe your home life with this um, earth energy out here. Tell me about this prosperity lies ahead. It's too many, please, spirit. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, it's like you could be working on like um, your finances or something or a business and um, it's taking a lot out of you. I'm hearing you're just really drained. 
and it's like, yeah, it's time to take action. And I feel like you're finding it difficult because I feel like your emotions are running high. I'm really, I don't know why I don't haven't seen that card. <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh my God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. I literally, I don't know why for some reason I felt like I wanted to cry when I seen that. Um, and I feel like it's just, um, it's like you want to start something new. I love that this card came out. I felt very emotional for the silliest reason. Yeah, a personal issue reaches resolution. It's like you're struggling with something right now, Scorpio. And I feel like with Cancer energy being out here um, and Aries energy being out here, it's like you're trying to take action to maybe get some forward progress in, in something in your life to take something off the ground. And it's been difficult because your emotions are running high because of maybe something that was unbalanced in your life. And it's like you're trying to remain positive is what I'm hearing and be practical about a situation. Yeah, we have meditate and contemplate. Maybe this is something you need to do. A lot of Pisces energy out here, Scorpio. And, and Cancer's energy as well. It's like you're just, I feel like, yeah, with that emotions running high, it's like, yeah, bottom of the deck, it's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. I feel like... Um, you're feeling pretty negative about something. Maybe you're feeling like something's not going to happen for you. And it's hard to maybe stay committed or dedicated to something that you're working on because you haven't seen the rewards of your efforts yet with prosperity lies ahead. It's like, you're like, when is it going to happen? When am I going to get there? When am I finally going to get this prosperity or abundance? And I feel like it's for a lot of you, it's stressful because maybe this is just regarding to having to take care of a child or children or family you're worried about your family and you would maybe you're hopefully not your real safety. Yeah. Look, as I split the deck, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. And it says Capricorn. We're, we're coming up in Capricorn season. Maybe about the full moon in Capricorn or just some, a full moon this month in the month of Capricorn is what I'm hearing. Something's fixing to end your difficulties. Your struggles are going to be ending. But your commitment is being faced, uh, like tested right now. It's like, Scorpio, are you going to, are you going to keep pushing along? Okay. You need to balance something. You maybe have priorities to put something, be more disciplined is what I'm hearing. One thing at a time. It's saying like, you know, one day, one step at a time is what I'm hearing. You, you feeling like pretty impatient right now is what spirit's saying. Your emotions are running high. Okay, maybe you feel like something's not going to work because you don't feel like you're good enough, cause, but Spirit's saying you are good enough. Okay, look, hold your vision. Your hard work is paying off. Again, in Capricorn, hard work is paying off and something's happening here for you, but hold that vision. This is something you're feeling very emotional about. This is, yeah, I feel like a ride, I'm hearing a lot is riding on this. A lot is riding on this, but spirit saying, hold that vision. Yeah, again, you are enough. You're feeling like you're not going to be able to do something. But you're, you're going to be fine, okay? This is maybe a commitment is being tested in the situation. Your commitment to maybe believing in yourself that you are good enough, okay? Believing that you can provide for maybe loved ones that you're feeling worried about, okay? Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches again. Okay, this is happening in, in Capricorn season, I feel like, for a lot of you. Any more messages for Scorpio Spirit? Yeah, your emotions are running high, though. I keep hearing that. Surrender to the divine. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Okay? Work through your fears. Communication is key. Maybe you have to communicate something with the Gemini. Yeah, there's this, this might not be love for some of you. It is, um, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're just, it's, it's just the mundane things ever. Maybe it's working on your career, your finances, maybe being able to go at something alone or believing in yourself that you can. Okay. Not that you need to, but you need to work through your fears and believe that you're enough. It's time to take action. Maybe towards an Aries. Nothing is yet in stone. And I think that's what's scaring you. Nothing's yet set in stone, and that's scary because I feel like Scorpios, we tend to, it's like we tend to, um, we want to know everything before because we don't like being caught off guard, right? Because we're kind of controlling in that way sometimes. Um, and we're so dedicated, right? But it's like you want to see something pay off, but you, I feel like you're not going to give up on whatever this is. You're not going to give up. A conclusion is within reach. 
Okay? The answers that you seek are coming. Maybe from a Gemini. Yeah, but just take time to breathe out because we've seen that card come out a couple times. So you're needing to believe in yourself, Scorpio. You're enough. You've always been enough. Okay? Conclusions are within reach. And I feel like, yes, your hard work is paying off. You're going to see something grow quickly is what I'm hearing. Wow. Don't let your past hold you back. It's time to take action. Don't let your past hold you back, Scorpio. I feel like somebody could be trying to affect you, affect your energy, believing maybe that you're not enough. Mind manipulation. That's random that I just heard that. Because you're very, they, yeah, somebody's trying to hold you back. And it's because they see that you're very close to achieving a goal that you have and that your hard work's paying off. Don't let this person stop you. Spirit's saying, now's not the time to give up. Now's the time to persevere and to push through any adversity that you feel, okay? And this is going to start by having confidence. Confidence is the key to success. You can have Leo in your chart. You have to believe in yourself. Look at this bigger picture, okay? Maybe during Sagittarius season, you need to be doing this right now. Look at the bigger picture. There's something you're not seeing or you're focusing on the wrong thing and you need to take a breather, okay? Wow, okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Scorpio spirit? Messages for Scorpio, please. Messages for Scorpio. Okay. Sorry about any noise in the background, spirit. For Scorpio. So, divine healing and spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Yeah, I feel like people see you going through something right now. Okay? And I feel like the divine is healing you definitely. Okay? I feel like... There's some sort of constraints or some sort of mindset that you've set in your head where you're like, maybe codependency is what I'm hearing. Maybe you're feeling like the need to have help from someone else or you're just feeling like um, you're feeling worried about family. Tell me about this uh, divine healing spirit. Dharma unfolding and individuality. Yeah, this has to do with your independence. Your, your belief in self is what Spirit is saying to me. Okay? This Dharma is unfolding, okay? So it's like you're getting good karma. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. There's something about you gaining maybe your individuality of being proud of who you are and taking a chance on something because this is exactly your dharma. You're getting something that was that was put out that you gave to others. And I feel like this, whatever you put out had to do with maybe you being a light worker or support system for other people. I feel like you've been a person who's really there for people. And it's like, maybe you didn't have this, okay? And it's like, now you're finally getting that same loving energy back from reciprocal people. But this is going to require you to move beyond constraints that you have of the mind and freely and em embracing loving new situations, okay? It says you leave your unique stamp on love with everything you do. Yeah, there's something you do that heals people. And it's like, you're the only one that's like that. You have a gift. There's something special about you where your light can help support others. Maybe there's somebody around you who you are maybe helping right now that you don't even realize. I'm hearing I'm coming, becoming a better person. So somebody thinks that they're becoming a better person. But I feel like you question yourself too much. You doubt yourself too much is what Spirit's saying. We have Freya at the bottom of the deck. It says phases and cycles, okay? This card says there is beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Yeah, you need to release some sort of illusion or, or mindset that's saying that maybe that you, you couldn't do something alone, okay? But Spirit's saying you have a unique stamp of love on everything that you do. It's like 
if you could have a signature and energy, you would be able to see your energy light up on everything that you touch because your energy is healing. Okay, I feel like you could be a messenger with the crow being here. Maybe your intuition is really like, um, like just like sensitive. You're getting a lot of downloads right now, maybe around a moon or you could be just um, meditating or needing to meditate. There's a beginning with some sort of ending Scorpio with phases and cycles. And I feel like these illusions that you have about who you are and being afraid to show who you are, it needs to be released. Okay. This is going to allow divine healing and some Dharma, which is good karma. That's returning back to you. You remember that you're on a path. Take one step at a time towards happiness. Trust in yourself. Take a breather. I'm hearing work through your fears, your commitment. Is being tested and I feel like it's your commitment to believing in yourself prosperity lies ahead you and your loved ones are safe you need to find balance in this believing in yourself but also remaining practical and focusing on the goal communication is the key this is a personal resolution that's reaching to surrender to the divine divine healing you're good enough there's a cycle that's ending here to maybe not believing in yourself and your dreams need this practical plan though. This is spontaneity. You're moving beyond these constraints of your mind and freely embracing new situations. New people is what I'm hearing. Beautiful. Okay, so let's find out. Tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with spirit. These cards are messed up, but they're old, so um, just forgive me. Messages for Scorpio. Look, I can't help but know. <laughs> this is cute. Um, I'm seeing these two cards, and before I had to put it back, Spirit said, take those two. Finding myself, and you're so smart. Okay, so before I read the cards for somebody else, I feel like this is a message from Spirit right now, that you're finding yourself and believing in yourself. Maybe you feel like you're not smart enough to do something. Okay? You feel like you're not smart enough to do something. That's not true. You're very intelligent. You're super smart. I feel like people enjoy your conversations. Somebody's feeling really attracted to your intelligence. I'm hearing saposexual, so they, they find your intelligence sexy. They're turned on by that. <laughs> okay. Messages from Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. Obsessed. Feeling lost. Okay, so with Scorpio, here's what I'm getting. Somebody, maybe you're not connected with them right now. There's distance. There's a silence. It's like, it's like I don't feel that you're angry. I feel like it's just, it's just silence. Maybe it's because you're going through a lot or this person's going through a lot. You're trying to maybe have peace in your life again is what I'm hearing. This person could have ghosted you because of other people's opinions or somebody somebody's feeling bound by cultural and family's beliefs on how that they should live their life they're trying to work towards breaking free from some limiting based beliefs that they have about their self it's limiting them because of other people's opinions Okay, and this is possibly why they disappeared. It says, I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. They're obsessing on the fact that they can't understand why they feel so lost without you. They didn't know they would feel this way. Oh, yeah, could be a twin flame. So if that's the case, this is definitely nobody compares to you is what they're saying. I'll take that last card. This is a twin flame or a strong soulmate is what Spirit's saying. They ghosted because of other people. They felt bound by somebody else or something else. Beliefs, a mindset. Um, if this is a twin flame, this is certainly no surprise because we go through many things in here. I would be like, well, you know, even soulmates, but I feel like twin flames probably go through a lot where... I just know they trigger one another to heal wounds within themselves that often that they mirror. They're saying no one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. 
You activated my soul to find my truest purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me this time around. So this person recognized you when they seen you or they met you. Because it says, thank you for finding me again this time around. Okay, so for some of you, it could just be because you've had many back and forths with this person. I feel like for the majority, that's the situation. Constantly ghosting you. Somebody's obsessing about how lost they feel right now in this situation. It says, I'm thinking, I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. I stalk your socials and I hope I run into you when I'm out. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's just easier to stay in silence. And this could be why they ghosted. Tell me, spirit. Why is obsessed here? We will be together again. Yeah, somebody's obsessed about getting a chance with you again. Bottom of the deck we have, I saved your text and messages. Okay. They're, they're in their feelings deep, Scorp. Tell me why ghosted. Why is ghosted here, spirit? This person's obsessed with getting being back together with you. Marriage. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, love language, quality time. It's so, okay. So if this person ghosted you, yes, I feel like it had to do with other people's opinions. This could have been somebody who was already in like a commitment or a connection. Um, I feel like somebody could have ghosted the other person because they weren't able to spend enough time with them because they were possibly in a marriage or a higher level of commitment with somebody else. Yeah, psychic connection. This is somebody who I feel like you connect with in the 5D. This person dreams of you. Tell me why feeling lost is here, spirit. Just one, please. Why is feeling lost here for Scorpio? Okay, so the top one. Time apart. Yeah, it's like this time apart has this person feeling so lost in themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Feeling lost in themselves. Not knowing how you feel. The separation is killing this person. So if there was a ghosting here, this is not something that was voluntarily done. Maybe it had to be done because of a marriage or because this something wasn't right. For a lot of you with that Dharma card came out, come, coming out, excuse me, um, I feel like this could have to do, um, you had to end a cycle with somebody so that they could get divine healing and maybe learn their individuality commitment is being tested somebody was in a marriage or something where they're trying to find their commitment towards the other person and how loyal they are to somebody and I feel like you're working through these fears of maybe releasing yourself from this person or vice versa and it's like somebody wasn't wanting to do something in the wrong way so you could have disconnected or this person could have disconnected so that you both can heal okay before you can come back together. Communication is the key. I feel like communication has been a lot of off here is what Spirit's saying. There's been a lot of miscommunication. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay. Somebody didn't want to get bad karma. So yeah, I feel like this person, um, love language is acts of service. Maybe this person's it's service, like serves for the country. Maybe um, a police officer I'm hearing. Somebody feels like the actions speak louder than words. And I feel like there's been, there's, yeah, some, there's forgiveness that needs to happen. Somebody's feeling intimate about you, wanting to be intimate with you. They want to give you, yeah, they want to spend time with you, both bonding here. I feel like you guys have a lot in common. Okay. Somebody's definitely having a burning desire for you. Okay. Um. This person wants to give something to you. Yeah, you could have felt friend zoned by this person, Scorpio. A lack of passion in this companionship. And I feel like somebody felt friend zoned and it could be because somebody was ghosted or had to ghost. They weren't able to spend time with you because they were in a marriage. Hmm. Friend zoned. 
twin flame recognition. So this is double confirmation for those of you who are on a twin flame journey. I feel like um, somebody recognized you here the moment they see me is what I'm hearing. Thank you for finding me again this time around. So I feel like you will have contact with your twin again. Like what did I say earlier? I feel like you guys mirrored each other. You know the soul that mirrors your own. Okay, that triggers wounds within you. Okay, I feel like somebody's manifesting you right now. They're manifesting freedom from something else, a healthy space to gain, uh, room, to have room and grow, okay? This is something that's definitely happening um, because both of you have real feelings for each other. You recognize each other, you share romantic feelings, and you both want to explore this. Yeah, because you have, somebody's definitely having a burning a desire about you, Scorp. Wow. Okay, so let's jump into tarot spread. If this is resonating with you, Scorpio, if you don't mind hitting that like button. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for joining. I hope you consider subscribing. Okay. I try to post at least two to three times a week, sometimes more. So let's see. Um, they're telling me to do... Which, which card? Spirit. Okay. Let's do this deck. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? So this is about beliefs. This is about conformity. This is definitely maybe even about um, a marriage, a higher level of commitment. I feel like both of you are being spiritual guides for each other right now, helping along each other on this twin flame journey. If you're, or if that's not you, then it's just a soulmate. Um, but you're both you're both teaching each other so much. I feel like both of you have gained so much wisdom with all these books next to her. You're learning who you are what you want, what you don't want, what you dislike. I feel like the overall energy right now, Scorpio, card one, king of swords. I feel like you want, there's truth here about something. You're wanting truth or you're giving a truth. It looks more, it feels like more there about, this is about giving a truth with her sword facing up. You can be an older female. You don't have to be. Um, the challenge here in the situation that's challenging card one is five of cups, regret, heartbreak, remorse, grief, reminiscing about old times I'm hearing. You're feeling like, why can't I just get this truth? Why can't I get what I deserve? Why can't I get clarity? So I'm hearing this is overwhelming. I can put all these in this viewfinder for you, Scorp. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Aquarius, an Aries, a Leo, a Pisces. Okay. Yeah. This is about a soul, spirit, soul path, okay? This is somebody who I feel like you both, um, if you, this isn't a twin flame, then I feel like you both recognize each other. And I feel like there's a personal evolution here that's taking, um, taking place right now, but this required time apart, okay? This is a time of separation. I'm hearing it's a divine, divine intervention, okay? So maybe some of you are going through a dark night of the soul. Maybe this person is. Somebody could be awakening is what I'm hearing, Yeah, but there's you're needing to release and let go of something from the past, Scorpio. Okay, as I say that, we have marriage. You need to let go of the past. 
maybe let go of the idea of marriage. Um, this is what I'm hearing for some of you. That's very few. That could be for cross watchers. But it's like somebody's needing to let go of a marriage. Releasing that. Taking a risk. Okay, interestingly enough, we also have the fool out here. Kind of being, taking a risk. Going for something. Okay. So let me focus on this. And we'll dive deeper in, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, I'm feeling like with this King of Swords and the challenge being the Five of Cups, I feel like, um, you know, this King of Swords is a card that talks about, yes, it talks about clarity, understanding, um, could be somebody who's really set in their ways, who doesn't maybe, um, I don't know, it's like, this is a person who takes a rational approach to things, okay, and they're, they're not really interested in doing anything in any other way, they're very strict, um, very militant in mind, okay, this is like the military commander of all of the, the kings and the, the deck, okay, this is somebody who really wants to go about it one way, okay, they may seem cold sometimes because of how they do this, um, but this is a person who knows that dealing with this is really, dealing with things logically is, is usually the best way for them. This is how they think of it. They don't really let their emotions in so much. Um, this, is, this is somebody who I feel like wants to see things from a rational perspective. Okay, and I feel like that's why we could have balanced spirituality and practicality. Okay, so maybe you're needing to find a balance. I feel like you're trying to be pretty practical, but um, you're having regret or someone is having regret and grief from the past, okay, they're feeling burdensome about maybe being impulsive and doing something that caused conflicts, okay, walking away from something, being pretty guarded, putting your guards up, building your walls very high, um, it's like you feel like maybe you're just on like stance, like you're just ready to fight or you're going to have to fight for something or it's going to take a lot of effort here, okay, this could be because maybe you're worried about loved ones, are you able to take care of loved ones or help loved ones, um, this is a phase in a cycle where there's possibly an ending in your life, okay? Illusions that are being rebuilt and released, and this is about finding yourself again, okay? Your commitment is being tested for, for yourself. How, how committed are you to having something that I feel like you want? Something that you have love for, something that makes you happy. There's something you want, Okay, I feel like you, you're needing to surrender to the divine and understand, Scorpio, that you're good enough. There's something that's difficult that's ending here. And this is making sense because we have the Ten of Wands, which is just feeling burdened and overwhelmed. Like you have too many things on your shoulder. And with the Seven of Wands being there too by the Eight of Cups, this is just telling me that you just, you're, I feel like you're struggling. Okay, but let's go back here real quick. So King of Swords, you're, you need to balance spirituality and practicality. Maybe thinking outside of the box. Okay, that's the situation. You're trying to be pretty practical about something. Trying to things maybe see things from a rational perspective and use your mind to make a plan to move forward here. This is going to require commitment. Okay? That's why we had the card that came out that says your commitment is being tested. How committed are you to making something happen, happen for you, Sorb? Okay, how committed and dedicated are you to have this? Surrender. You're good enough. End of a tough cycle's approaches, approaching. Approaching. Why can I not talk? I'm hearing poaching. I don't know what that means. But it's like um, you're needing to make a, use your mind to make a plan or this is how you're being. Maybe you're not being very emotional. I feel like if this is something that doesn't fit your situation, then maybe you need to ask somebody for help an expert or maybe consult somebody so that you can get some um, immediate clarity on maybe how to move forward with something, okay? And I feel like it's because you could be just really worried, okay, grieving something else. I feel like right now the challenge is, is that maybe things at the moment are just pretty tough. You're feeling down. You're feeling like um, you maybe feel at a loss or you're struggling with some hard emotions that you feel. You, I feel like there's a lot of grief here. And I feel like right now is not the time for you to ignore this grief. Spirit saying, balancing practicality and spirituality. That's what I keep hearing. Okay. I feel like give your grief some time and space to be experienced, to feel it. 
this is challenging you maybe because you're really kind of shutting yourself off with emotions and you're like, nope. For some of you, I just feel like with that King of Swords, it's like maybe you're needing to accept help from somebody else or some something else to maybe work together to do something. And it's like you're feeling like, I don't want that help. I don't want their help. Okay. Um, maybe you're needing to accept help is what I'm seeing or hearing. Okay. But I feel like, um, I feel like you're feeling like once you can give maybe space for this healthy healing and this, these emotional, this emotional baggage that you might feel or the grief and pain that you're going through where you're feeling down. I feel like once you do that, you can start to heal healthily. Okay. I feel like, um, you could be isolating yourself. I feel like space is good, but you don't want to go MIA from your, you know, from something too long. Okay. Don't cut yourself off from the people and things that maybe give you joy and fulfillment. I feel like right now you probably, for a lot of you, I feel like you're wanting more alone time than you're actually needing. I feel like you just need, I feel like for a lot of you, it, it is, it's not that you need to be alone. I feel like you just need to find good company. You need to find good company to spend this with who's fun and uplifting, who can maybe help ease some of this pain that you're going through or this isolation that you're feeling. Yeah, I just noticed these two, physical connection and real feelings. I feel like this is a person who maybe you had a very physical connection with and then gained really real feelings. Unexpected is what I'm hearing <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Um, you weren't expecting to fall in love with this person. I feel like it just came out of nowhere. Could be dealing with an air sign with the King of Swords here. With that King of Swords, I'm feeling like, I feel like you're more than capable of handing, handling your own affairs on your own, Scorpio, maybe living the single life, doing something, but it could be scary. But remember, just because you can do something by yourself doesn't mean that you have to or you should. I feel like you're carrying a lot. You're needing to release some of this weight, okay? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you have to or that you need to. Maybe you're needing to accept help and maybe swallow your pride a little bit, Scorpio, is what I'm hearing. Um, especially if you're feeling a little lonely. Okay? Or in some kind of grief. Or just feeling a, a loss, maybe, because of something that was lost in your life. You're very emotionally intelligent, okay? You, I feel like you're very smart. Your intellect arouses people, is what I'm hearing. Again, I'm hearing saposexual. <laughs> um, I feel like Spirit's saying don't be too quick to cut off people because we all need connections in our life. Work through these fears. For some of you, maybe you're not wanting to surrender to this connection because it's scary opening yourself up. You need to work through these fears. Maybe that you have a fear of commitment is what I'm hearing. Because maybe you either just are scared of commitment, you've always been a scared of commitment, or you're scared of what it's going to require of yourself to have this commitment. I don't know that it's so much you're scared of this person. I feel like for a lot of you, it's just you're scared of what, if you're going to be enough, or that it's usually, I feel like a lot of us, it's like we're not scared of commitment a lot of the times. I feel like it's just more about we're scared of who we have to become, not changing ourselves, but like if we can be enough for somebody or if we can feel enough within ourselves. Okay. Remember that you're always enough Scorpio. Okay. I feel like, um, your commitment to yourself is really a thing that's being tested because you are good enough to be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo moon. That's what I'm hearing. You and your loved ones are safe. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. You're going to get through this is what spirit's saying to me. So with card three, we have the three of wands, okay? So you're in like this energy of waiting and your current um, and your foundation. It's like you're waiting for things to, that you've manifested or waited for things that you've put growth or that you've put um, work into. You're waiting for some growth here. You're like in this energy of foresight. You're looking ahead, Okay, it's like you're you're feeling confident right now for a lot of your of you. I feel like you're feeling a lot more confident. I feel like you're waiting for maybe the next stage in a relationship. 
okay? It's showing that you're in control and that you have a strong position right now, Scorpio. You're standing strong. It's definitely, this is a card about foresight and vision. So it's like you have somewhere that you want to go. But I feel like you're feeling sort of overwhelmed by all that it's going to take to get this. Okay. But with the hair front being at the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. I love this. Oh, my goodness. How cute. Okay. So we have um, spirits telling me to take these. So I'm feeling like, um, yeah, you've gained some knowledge about a new opportunity here that you have to have a partnership that's reciprocal. That's equal give and take. Maybe you have a hard time accepting help is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I feel like there's an opportunity that's going to be given to you. And it's because of all of this wisdom that you've gained. Okay. And I feel like it's with this twin flame to get what you want. And you've been waiting on this. This is the energy that you're in right now with the, with the three of wands. You're, you have a vision. You're holding some sort of vision. You're not, I feel like this is what you're going towards. This is the foundation of your reading. So it, this whole reading is about. Yes, the challenge is getting past some grief here and maybe um, being practical about, we're trying to be practical about a situation, but you're needing to balance practicality and spirituality, like I said. Um, but you do have, the mindset is having a vision. You have a vision here for something to gain momentum. Okay, it's like you're waiting. It's I feel like this Three of Wands is a card that hints about Everything around your plans is, is it's starting to go smoothly, okay? As maybe you've taken time to plan for this or you're trying to take the next steps to maybe turn these plans into an action. But with her looking towards the seven of wands, which is card four, which is about your subconscious, what you're, what's in your mind, in the front of your mind that you're thinking on. You're holding this vision, but you're thinking about the seven of wands and she's looking directly at it. Okay, because you have this vision, but you're really just looking directly at, you know, what maybe that you're trying to ignore, trying to maybe emotionally disconnect from. Um, you're wanting to get past conflict here. You're wanting to persevere. You want to move something here to where I feel like you could be in this energy of being protective of yourself. Maybe you feel like you need to stand up for yourself. You're trying to defend your position. You're feeling very protect, protective of your territory. Maybe trying to avoid emotions, okay? You, I feel like for a lot of you, you maybe feel like you having to compete and protect for yourself or your children or your family is what I'm hearing. It's like maybe you could be facing a situation where there are people around who maybe are getting in the way of what you built, Okay? This is, can include people who are jealous of your success is what I'm hearing. Okay. They see you going somewhere. They see you getting attention. And you're having to set boundaries, I feel like. And you feel like maybe this is scary because you're going to have to fight for this person's love. Or maybe this is just how you are imagining it to be. Okay. So I feel like you're being sort of secluded and maybe just trying to protect your energy. And disconnect from something because this is risky is what I'm hearing. And it just feels like it's too much. I feel like there's going to be a lot of conflict here, okay, that there's going to be disagreements. But I do feel that you are wanting to fight for somebody. You're wanting to fight for this romance. You're wanting to fight for this person. You're defending your position. You want to fight off the competition. Um, I feel like you're ready to face any challenges, but it's, it's scary. But you're holding this vision. You're holding this vision. I feel like for a lot of you, you could be holding this vision. This could be why it says that, Spirit is saying to um, remember that an end of a tough cycle approaches. You are good enough if you're not feeling like you're good enough. And your commitment to maybe working through your fears, to maybe surrendering to something in the divine, okay? And getting something that you want, okay? Communication. Communicating is key. But with that seven of wands, I just feel like you're setting boundaries in your relationship and fighting for something. You're taking some value aligned and putting into an action. I feel like this, or for a lot of you, this could require maybe to put some sort of like a risk management plan into place so you can avoid anything that could possibly cause potential issues in the future. 
I feel like you could be, um, this is, this definitely has something to do with having long-term success with somebody or something. Protecting your financial stability is what I'm hearing. I feel like protecting your heart, something you're passionate about. But the diff, the end of a tough cycle is approaching Scorpio. You have nothing to worry about as long as you stay committed to holding this vision. And I think that you are. This is your foundation. So this is good. You're committed to staying hold and holding this vision. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. So with the eight of cups being card five, this is the past. This is the recent past. Or maybe, maybe if it's not the past, it could be happening currently at this moment. So with the eight of cups being there, this is telling me that you walked away from something. You let something go. You're moving on. Um, you're searching for the truth. You're searching for the truth. Leaving something behind. And I feel like this is representing living in alignment with your truth. Holding this vision. Living in alignment with your truth. And fighting for something that you want. Walking away from maybe disappointing situations in your life that have left you feeling emotionally unfulfilled maybe leaving a job, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's a relationship or a friendship that was just not fulfilling to you. It was disappointing. And this is why you have the grief here with the five of cups. And you're trying to be more practical or logical about the situation and practical um, rather than use your emotions because I feel like you, you get hurt easily. You have a lot of love. Scorpio, you have a lot of love. Okay. But there's a lot of conflicting energy around this love. Okay. You definitely left something that felt unhappy, an unhappy relationship. You abandoned something. Could be because maybe somebody abandoned you and you have abandonment issues and you left something that was unfulfilling. You, you're taking a vacation. You're escaping something. You're choosing happiness over financial security is what I'm hearing. Okay? So you are following your instincts and walking away from something that was just disappointing to you. Letting it go. Searching for this truth. Leaving something behind. Could have been something that was stagnation. Could have been something that you were accepting less from. Could have been because you had a fear of change and maybe scared of walking away from something and, and staying in some sort of bad situation. You felt stuck. You didn't know whether it was, you know, it'd be maybe an unhappy marriage, an unhappy job, an unhappy friendship. But this period of stagnation, it's like you were afraid to make a change, change out of fear of the unknown. And I feel like you needed to put yourself first. Maybe you feel like that's why you're worried about you and your loved ones or, and maybe feeling safe. Could have been a toxic marriage. It could have been a toxic friendship. Very controlling is what I'm hearing. Domineering. Somebody who had control. Um, who used emotional manipulation. This has been coming up in my readings all the time. I, I'm so sick of hearing that. <laughs> but it's like you had a fear of change here and stay, and you, you were staying in a bad relationship or fear of being alone, for fear of being alone. Choosing maybe your financial security over happiness. And you've released that. And this is showing your, there's a commitment here to yourself working through these fears and the commitment that you have to yourself. Are you committed to not to, are you committed to your own happiness? Okay? You've always been good enough. And this is why it's saying an end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, this is the past. And if it's not happened yet, then it should be happening in the present moment. Now the future, Scorpio, we have the full. Okay? Aries energy. So I feel like with the full being there, you're taking a risk in the future. Okay, for some of you, you could be meeting an Aries. This is saying to me that there's a beginning here. You're freeing yourself from something I'm hearing. Um, it's like you're remaining in your own individuality, okay? You're, you're beginning a new journey where you're going to be filled with optimism and freedom from any constraints that you had in the past in your life that made you feel that you had to detach, Okay, you're freeing yourself from maybe the idea that you can't do something. It's a new relationship. It's a fun, light romance. Okay. 
you're this is this is saying you're taking a risk on your part to go after what you want and being who you are and not being worried about everybody else and what they think it's something that's inspiring courage within you and you're finding this chance to open up in new areas of your life because of this in the near future okay you could have been very distracted in the past, maybe feeling gullible or naive for letting somebody else um, leave you in something that was not fulfilling. Okay, you feel like you were foolish by doing that. And maybe you feel like you even had to pay a lot of repercussions because of your lack of commitment to yourself to, take you, to make yourself happy. It was maybe a risky relationship. You felt bored. Maybe you had a partner who was very reckless. You were scared to maybe take um, a risk around financial opportunities. You feel like maybe you could have been dealing with somebody who really just, um, I'm hearing, made foolish financial decisions, foolish purchases. Somebody was trying to buy your love, I'm hearing. It's so random. So you're moving forward with this full energy. This is your near future, okay? Um, I feel like for a lot of you, for the most of you, this is going to happen within the next three weeks. You're showing yourself compassion, okay? And you're, you're healing. Now, with card seven, this is your attitude about the whole situation. You're feeling really weighed down, Scorpio. You're feeling really burdened. This is a lot. It's like, I feel like it's taking everything in you or it feels that it is because you're feeling emotionally drained because of all of this that you've gone through already, feeling on guard. This Ten of Wands is just saying to me that you're doing something no matter how hard it is. You're, you're going to persevere. You're pushing through. Okay? But it's a burden. You feel like maybe for a lot of you, you feel that your attitude is that maybe this is like the stress. This is stressful. You're feeling burnt out and struggled, struggling with something. Okay? You feel like this is a heavy burden. It's creating maybe more responsibility for doing this, but this is going to be worth it is what Spirit's saying. And that's why they say the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Okay? It's like, yeah, you might feel like this is harder by doing this, but it's going to be worth it in the end, Spirit says. You, for a lot of you, you could be worried about taking care of your family with that card that came out about your loved ones are safe. Okay, and this because maybe there's more responsibilities on your shoulder. It's creating more stress and issues in other relationships because you're overworked. Maybe you're feeling like you're carrying these things alone. Needing help from colleagues, friends, family, co-workers, neighbors. Um, and I feel like this is why the, queen, the king of swords is here. It's, and that being like um, getting out of some regretful energy or, or feeling bad about asking for people's help is what I'm hearing. Um, so that you can lay some of these wands down. Look at this woman. She's like, she's like, shit, I can't carry this. I don't know if I can make it to the house. Like, I don't know how much more I can carry. These damn shoes are killing my feet. It's like, I feel like you're needing to reach out for help. And you could be worried that reaching out for help is going to maybe make people judge you or it's going to cause conflict. Maybe you don't have a lot of supportive people around you. Okay. If that's you, I'm sorry. Um, reach out in the comments. I always respond. I may not respond right away, but I feel like if that's you, if you're feeling just stressed and like burnout, struggling, you need to sp speak to somebody, reach out to me. Okay. It's like there's a financial burden. You feel like it's an unavoidable expense that's happening. Could be because the holidays are here. It's like you feel like you're struggling daily. Okay. Maybe with taking care of a family daily just to walk away from these emotions because you feel abandoned after maybe giving your love to somebody and it felt like that it was just not reciprocated. I feel like for a lot of you, um, your, your, your attitude could be maybe you're scared to accept help from another person who wants to offer you commitment and love because I feel like you know that this love is going to require responsibility. It creates responsibility in your life or love right? When you open yourself up to a relationship and you decide to get in something, it's not just all like, you know, bubble gums and rainbows, right? It's, it takes work, especially if it's a mature partnership where you have, you know, especially if it's a twin flame, okay? Um, this is going to require work and effort from everybody, both parties, okay? It's a, it's a team effort, okay? It's not just one person. 
and it's like you're scared and overwhelmed by all of the things that it's going to take for you to do this, especially if you are feeling a lot of grief, maybe from something from your past, feeling like you need to do everything on your own, being scared to ask for help or accept it. Okay. I feel like this Ten of Wands, though, is telling me that you do realize that you're at an end of a tough cycle that's completing. See this? You know that you are. You know you're on the precipice of something great that's going to give you prosperity. It's like the weight of these responsibilities is going to become lighter. Okay? Remember that. If you're feeling this, remember that it's going to get lighter. Let go and, and be real with yourselves about maybe what you can handle. Okay? So we have card eight, which is the Knight of Cups. This is um, energies that's surrounding, could be the person that you're connecting with. So you could be dealing with a younger water sign, a, a younger Scorpio specifically, or somebody who has that in their chart, somebody who loves you, somebody who's um, feeling very sentimental of you. The Knight of Cups is somebody who's like the romancer. This is a sweet talker, but they're charming. But not only are they charming, they really do love. Okay, they really do have emotions. This is somebody who is like an ideal partner. This is somebody who's very charming, artistic. They're very graceful and tactful. Um, could be somebody who's like a really good communicator and mediator. They negotiate very well. Um, but this is like the ideal partner, okay? This is somebody who's pretty creative. Maybe you feel that this person makes you feel creative. They feel that you make them feel more creative. Um, very diplomatic person, okay? I'm hearing artist. Somebody could be artist. Um, or they have some sort of art or talent that they create with their hands, I'm hearing. Okay. This is somebody who wants to manifest you. This is a person who wants to move something forward here with a creative project to get it off the ground with you or to make this plan and, and, and turn it into an action. Okay. They're being compelled to manifest you. This is somebody who feels a lot of attraction for you. I feel like they want to flirt with you. This person is a lo person who loves being in love, okay? They love the idea of love. This person who loves the idea of being with you is what I'm hearing. They're, um, I'm hearing this is a person who wants to create a team of cohesion, okay? They've got creative solutions here about maybe this conflict that you're stressing about, Scorpio. Okay, better times are ahead is what I'm hearing. They want to maybe work something out and figure out your finances together, I'm hearing, and use some sort of creative tactic to do this, to achieve financial goals. This is a person who I feel that you know wants to be vulnerable with you, or who has become vulnerable to, with you, or that you know you are going to have to become vulnerable with, and that could be scary. Okay? Just remember, you know, to be vulnerable and express to love those around us, it's, yeah, it can be scary to bear our soul, right? But this bravery is something that's going to allow you for to have greater intimacy and a connection. And I feel like you could be fighting it, Scorpio. Because in your hopes and fears, we have the five of wands. You're fighting, showing this emotion. Look at all these emotions next to both of these cards. You feel like it's risky and maybe too burdensome to share your emotion. You're conflicted with this, but you have so much love. Okay. The five of wands could talk about maybe you feeling like you're in, com you're in competition or your fear. It doesn't have to mean that it's true. You could just have a fear of being put in competition with somebody else. Maybe you think somebody else is going to go back to their past. You're worried about arguments that it's going to cause or tension because there could be rivals and a clash of egos that's happening here because of you feel like there's com competition for a suitor. You feel like it's going to cause conflict between maybe other people and lovers. Feeling like it's pretty competitive and that scares you. But I feel like this person's going to make you feel happy. This is a person who's going to make you feel assured how much they love you. And I feel like this is going to you're, you're going to get rid of this. Okay. This card Scorpio to me is spirit saying it's a reminder to maybe be vigilant and look at all the details twice to maybe avoid a disaster. Okay. It can be avoided. You just have to have to focus on what it is that the bigger picture. Remember we saw that you're good enough. Remember that you're good enough. 
and to try to keep maybe from having miscommunication with anybody because I feel like this is just a fear, okay? Maybe you've been put in competition with other people in the past from other people and you're scared to do that again because you know how much love that you give, right? We give so much of ourselves. I feel like this is saying to be strong, Scorpio, and be patient. Um, you're going to be able to overcome challenges with diplomacy here. That's what Spirit is saying. Now, the possible outcome, Scorpio, we have is the Queen of Cups, okay? So I feel like not only are you going to be showing yourself love, Scorpio, but somebody's going to be reciprocating that love and opening themselves up just as much as you are because they feel just as deeply, okay? This is somebody who is going to be compassionate, they're going to be very kind. I feel like this is going to be a healing connection that's going to help you walk away from these burdens that you feel right now. This is somebody who is going to support you. They have this warmth about, warmthness about them. They're very intuitive is what Spirit's saying to me. This is somebody who's been a spiritual teacher about maybe going after opportunities that you didn't think that you could achieve or have and getting the partnership and love that you deserve. Somebody who's going to give just as much as you do. Could definitely be a cancer a taurus this is about a new opportunity somebody who's taking on a role to um help seek support and help you and be compassionate about it okay there this is a person who they're all about their emotions they're in their femininity with intuition they know that you feel just as much as they do um, this is a person who wants to honor your sensitivity and to let themselves feel the full spectrum of emotions that make up your human experience. Okay, this is a person who wants to, if this is somebody you're already connected to, they want to deepen an existing relationship here with you by showing you care and support and to nurture you. Um, because they know that that's what they want. They want to give the same. I feel like Spirit's asking you to trust your intuition in the future because only these answers can come from within. But you need to remember with a queen of cups, that's a person who communicates the needs to stand in their truth and light. So you need to communicate this to person your feelings. If you're feeling something, you need to speak up. But first, you're going to have to let the past go. This card was stuck to my foot. Okay, let the past go. And what was the other card? Yeah, let the past go. Let a marriage go. Let a commitment go. Um, but do it the right way with Dharma being here. Don't walk away from somebody dharma unfolding yeah it's like to get these to get these rewards you need to walk away and become individual to become single be on your own before you can have this love okay do it the right way i'm hearing don't treat anybody else the way you wouldn't want to be treated so if you're in a marriage or something and you're wanting to leave you need to walk away correctly do this person the way you would even if you feel like it's going to hurt them you have to be honest you have to treat the other person um if that's the best possible outcome you don't have to but you should for the best possible outcome. You don't want to walk away and deceive somebody and not have integrity. And I feel like for a lot of you, this King of Swords cause, is there because I feel like you're having integrity to tell somebody something. And this might feel hurtful and regretful. Okay? But you have a vision. Hold that vision. Set up proper boundaries, but don't block everybody out. Emotionally disconnect. Tell this person. Take a risk. Let the burdens go. Open yourself to love. You can overcome challenges about giving and receiving love. Okay? This is a spiritual lesson. Okay? Scorpio, let's pull some messages. Let me clear these. Okay. Do some shuffles. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know from this person? Can you tell us what messages we have for Scorpio, please? It's the hidden truth. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore and I see you everywhere I go. Yeah, somebody's seeing you everywhere. I'm hearing they look for you every single where. They go. They're always looking for your car. So they see somebody with your like stature or your figure or hear somebody that has a laugh or voice like you. It's like this person's looking over their shoulder. They want to run into you. They can feel your energy strongly is what I'm hearing. Wow, it's a lot of cards. Bottom of the deck, we have, it's not that I do not care. I care very much, even if you are not aware of that. I just have released this to a higher perspective. Somebody is working and healing. Okay, I'm also hearing you, this could be your energy as well. Okay. 
There's quite a few cards here. Spirit saying, take it. Okay. So we have, I can't be with you right now, but I do, but I will be back for you. I will. You were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? I cannot change you. I cannot make you into anything you aren't. And I cannot make you do anything you are not ready for. Maybe neither of us was ready. So it's like things weren't working out as planned. Okay. I just seen somebody comment on my other video from yesterday that I posted that says you can't make anyone love you. Duh. <laughs> Clearly. Okay. It says I cannot change you. I cannot make you do anything that you aren't. So this is like a message from spirit to you, that person, whoever that was. It says, I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart, and now I don't know how to let you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice. Somebody misses the sound of your voice. I'm hearing they have same voicemails or messages or something. Video. Okay. The thought of you with anyone else drives me crazy. I try not to think about that. I started to feel safe with you, enough to let my guard down a little. Your coldness hurt so much. Yeah, King of Swords energy with you, Scorpio. I feel like you could have shut down emotionally. Could have scared you because of competition or the fear of being not enough. We have my heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you've lost faith in me. Please have patience. It may not seem so, but I am getting it slowly, but I am. I honor your life force energy, and I honor mine as well. I wasn't sure how my life would have changed if we continued the connection. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. And I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. Somebody's really, they're getting it. They're finally having an understanding about who Scorpio is, what this connection is. Um, they're wanting to contact you. They're feeling sad. I feel like because of maybe them not recognizing this connection at the beginning, they're saying, you feel like home, and now I feel like I'm left out. This distance killing is killing them, though. They don't like the distance. They're haunted by the memories of not following their heart. Now they don't know how to let you go. Okay, let's pull one of these cards. Bottom of the deck, we have Leo. So this person could have Leo in their chart. Will you forgive me? This person could be a Scorpio or they could have Scorpio in their chart. I worry too much about others' opinions. You make all my dreams come true. Where have you been all my life? I replay our conversations over and over in my head. I hope it's not too late for us. I love you dearly and deeply. I hope someday I'll have the courage to say this. And I wasn't lost until you found me. I cannot unlove you. Okay? Scorpio cross watchers, I hope that these messages brought you clarity and insight into your situation for those of you who choose to donate to my cash app below remember you're automatically being entered into a drawing to win a free 15 minute personal reading i do the drawings every first friday of the month and every third friday of the month okay if you would like a personal reading you can also reach out to me at this time okay scorpio cross watchers i hope that these were resonating with you thank you until next time